Out 5:30, a big bust in cities and towns around Boston. Drugs and weapons seized. More than two dozen people taken into custody. WBZ's Jim Smith is live in Boston, where many of the suspects appeared in court this afternoon. Jim. Yes, they did, Liam. And the target here is, of course, a Boston-based street gang. But this investigation tonight goes well beyond the city of Boston, also extending into communities like Quincy, Randolph, Braintree, and elsewhere. In fact, many of those suspects, as we mentioned, are still facing a judge here at the courthouse right now. It began in the pre-dawn hours, about 300 investigators making raids in communities throughout greater Boston. The target? The Boston-based Mozart Street Gang. Prosecutors say Operation Wolfgang dismantled a violent drug trafficking organization at the top of the supply chain. Not only do they rob, shoot, and even kill their business rivals and innocents who get caught in the crossfire, they're responsible for the overdoses that claim three times more lives in Massachusetts than handguns and motor vehicles combined. Authorities seized 10 guns, 5.5 kilos of heroin, fentanyl, other opiates, and about $80,000 in cash. Dozens have either been arrested or are being sought, including David Medina of Braintree, who police are actively looking for. We will consider them armed and dangerous. Um, we're actively looking for the individuals as of right now, um, and we'll continue to pursue. Some of those suspects appeared in court late today. Prosecutors say wiretaps are a key ingredient in an operation that spanned well over a year. And the message here is clear. If you're going to be involved in these gangs, in guns, in drugs, then we're going to be focusing on you and we're going to put you in jail. And it's interesting to note that not all of these suspects are men. They include a 26-year-old woman from Hyde Park with no criminal record who investigators believe is responsible for bringing large quantities of heroin into the United States from the Dominican Republic. This investigation not over yet. Live in Boston, Jim Smith, WBZ News. Jim